Large structures is basically how atoms come together to form uh, molecules. And um, we, we have to take into account all these rules that we learned in order to be able to write these Lewis structures. We already know how to write the Lewis structures for atoms, uh, such as uh, chlorine having uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven electrons in the outermost energy level. Now we're going to move on to building molecules, atoms that come together to form neutral uh, molecules. All right, let's um, let's take a look at the rules. And at this point, I'm going to ask you to get your make sure that you have, of course, before you begin, you should have your journal, and you really need to copy these rules. So pause and go ahead and copy the rules of uh, writing the Lewis structures. We're going to go ahead and start some examples, and we're going to write the Lewis structures for uh, some molecules. And we're going to follow the format. Notice that I've written here the um, basic rules, the basic steps that you just copied, uh, and uh, I'm going to begin with a simple molecule, HCl. Uh, and uh, I write the formula, and I'm going to find out first how many total valence electrons uh, each one of these has. Uh, we know that hydrogen, if you look at the periodic table, it's in group one, it's one valence electron, uh, and uh, chlorine has seven valence electrons, and that gives me a total of eight valence electrons. All right, so then um, we are going to uh, take the next step and determine there's no central atom here. When there are two molecules, you don't have to worry about central atoms. But normally what you do, and you have make note of this, that when you have uh, several, several atoms and you need to determine the central atom, you're going to go put the central atom, uh, that one atom that it has the lowest electronegativity, except in the case of hydrogen. Hydrogen can never be a um, central atom. All right, so in this case, we have no central atom, and we have HCl. All right, so HCl is our uh, bond. We have established that there's uh, two uh, electrons being shared here. Each dash represents two electrons. So now I'm going to subtract uh, these two electrons. So subtract the two valence electrons that I have already placed, and that gives me six electrons left to be placed. So I'm going to go ahead and place them. Uh, can I place them around the hydrogen? Uh, because hydrogen cannot hold more than two electrons. But I'm going to place them around the uh, Cl. And um, that is it. This is our um, Lewis structure for hydrochloric acid. All right, let's uh, try a second example. Uh, NF3. First of all, we're going to determine the total number of uh, valence electrons. So we have five valence electrons for nitrogen. If you look at your periodic table, you can determine that. Uh, fluorine has seven valence electrons. However, uh, it has seven valence electrons, but it, there are three, so we have to multiply this number. Seven times uh, three is 21 valence electrons plus five. That, ha that nitrogen has, that gives us a total of 26 uh, valence electrons that need to be placed. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and write the central atom. My central atom is going to be nitrogen. Between fluorine and nitrogen, nitrogen is the lower electronegativity, so I'm going to place nitrogen in the center. Then I'm going to go ahead and bond the rest of the atoms, uh, fluorine, there are three fluorines, so I'm going to have three fluorines placed uh, like so. And uh, I'm going to then uh, go ahead and determine how many electrons I've already placed. With each dash, each dash represents two electrons, so two, four, six. Six electrons have already been placed. So we have, don't have to worry about those, but we're going to subtract, and this gives us 20 electrons valence electrons left to be placed. So now I'm going to go ahead and start placing them. I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 electrons. And there are two electrons that I must still place. And we, we check everybody has an octet, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 electrons. However, nitrogen has only two, four, and six electrons around it. So this is the place where I'm going to put the remaining two electrons. And this gives us a, a molecule that is um, correct as far as the Lewis structures. There are other cases where atoms have to share more than one pair of electrons. And we're going to start out with this example. Uh, we're going to start out with N2. The first thing I have to do is to place, um, first of all, let's count the number of electrons. So I was jumping the gun there a little bit. Uh, there are five valence electrons times two. Therefore, there are a total of 10 valence electrons for this uh, molecule. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and write NN. This is the only way to, to attach them. And this, of course, represents one pair of electrons, two electrons being shared. So we represent it with dashes. Now, uh, once I do that, I can subtract two electrons, two pairs of electrons. And this gives me eight electrons left to be placed. Uh, a little tight there in space. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is where we say, Houston, we have a problem. Um, ask me about that in class. I'll tell you what that means If, in case you haven't watched Apollo 13. If not, you know what, what, what I'm talking about. Two, four, six, two, four, six. The problem is right now that these, neither of these, these uh, atoms have a, an octet. So therefore, we have to fix that problem. So the way we're going to fix it is we, uh, nitrogen, this nitrogen is going to say, oh, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to go ahead and let you, um, I'm going to share my, uh, this other pair of electrons. So I'm going to place my pair of electrons here. And it says now we have two, four, six, eight. Uh, and um, that's perfectly happy. Two, four, six, uh, very unhappy nitrogen. So this guy on the right is going to say, hey, I'm a nice guy, so I'm going to share too. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and place this pair of electrons here. And this is what we call a triple bond. And um, this molecule N2 is correct. It is uh, our Lewis uh, structure for uh, nitrogen. Uh, let's try another example. And this time we are going to try uh, carbon monoxide, CO. Again, uh, we are going to determine how many valence electrons and nitrogen has, I'm sorry, I'm still in the last example. Uh, carbon has four valence electrons and oxygen has six valence electrons. So we're going to add these up and we are going to determine that we need to need 10 valence electrons. So we have 10 valence electrons amongst them. So we're going to draw our structure. And uh, next, we're going to uh, subtract these pair of electrons we have already placed, uh, two valence electrons. We have eight electrons, valence electrons left to be placed. Uh, I am going to go ahead and start uh, putting them up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, what do we say? Houston, we have a problem. Two, four, six, two, four, six. We do not have an octet and we're seeking an octet. So again, we're going to have to uh, have one of the kind atoms share a pair of electrons. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that um, carbon is going to be kind enough to uh, share its pair of electrons. So, uh, or let's say um, oxygen here will remove this pair of electrons and it's going to share uh, very nicely 
uh, here, it's pair of electrons, and uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, still not an octet. So I'm going to um, repeat the process. Um, this guy is going to say, okay, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to go ahead and erase this pair of electrons. Um, and uh, now I'm going to be kind enough to share it. Whoops. Um, let's get my pencil back and put that there. Actually, I should have put these two dots over here, uh, but that's okay. It's still correct. Let's see. We have 2468, 2468, and uh, the uh, lowest dot, uh, preferably it would be C. B, O, two dots here and two dots over here. We try to spread them out as far away as we can. Now, don't think that all the, the uh, examples would have two, um, uh, three bonds. Uh, there are some that have only two. Uh, a quick example that I can show you is O2. And uh, again, we're going to figure out the number of valence electrons, six uh, valence electrons each. That's a total of 12. Uh, valence electrons. Uh, so I'm going to start with single bond there, subtract the two, uh, two valence electrons that I've already placed, uh, remaining 10 electrons, valence electrons to be placed. Uh, so that's not a 16, it's a 10. And I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So here we have a problem again. Uh, this atom is perfectly happy, satisfied, uh, totally content, but this one's not because it does not have an octet. So I'm going to go ahead and fix the problem again. Use my trusty eraser here. This guy's going to share its electrons, and it is happy to do that. And um, oops, I need a pen again. And uh, those two electrons that I raised, and they're going to go here in Sherry and 2468, 2468. Everybody's happy and we can move on. All right, so uh, the last example that I have for you is the polyatomic ions. So, polyatomic ions are interesting because they bond with uh, metal and uh, they form ionic bonds or ionic compounds. However, within the polyatomic ion, uh, the polyatomic ion itself is um, in po um, covalently bonded within the polyatomic ion they're sharing. Remember, uh, like uh, PO4, uh, 3 negative, and so on and so forth. But let's do this example, CN. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, follow the same format. We know that. Uh, carbon has four valence electrons, and nitrogen has uh, five valence electrons, and that gives me a total of nine valence electrons. However, I have to add one more because notice there's one more electron here. It gained uh, an electron, so I'm going to add one more electron, and that gives me a total of 10 valence electrons to be placed. <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw my initial uh, diagram. And I know that this represents two electrons, so two valence electrons, uh, eight valence electrons. And this um, means that I have to place eight electrons. So I'm going to start out with one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. All right, and um, we have placed our eight, but uh, we don't have an octet. Problem. So two, four, six, two, four, six, no valence electrons. Again, this happens to be one that has uh, double bonds uh, or, or multiple bonds. So I'm going to have to go ahead, erase uh, a pair. Uh, nitrogen says, ah, I'll be a nice guy, and I will share my electrons. So those we erase, and we come back here and place those that we erased here as sharing electrons. And we have two, four, six, eight. Carbon is perfectly content. Two, four, six. Car uh, nitrogen is not, but 
Carbon is nice enough to say, okay, I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to share so that everybody can be happy. So here we go. We erase. We come back over here, place that bond here, and we have a perfect um, formula, except that since this is an ionic compound, I'm, I'm sorry, a, um, a uh, polyatomic ion, we have to put a bracket around it, and we have to put a minus here so that we know that we added one more electron over here to um, to the uh, to the total number of electrons. And this tells us this is a polyatomic ion. All right, and that's all of the examples and uh, more practice in class.